Hey guys, I'm Allison Hacker, a chemistry major from the class of 2018. And I'm Nick Piper, a biochemistry major from the class of 2017. Today we'll be showing you the correct technique for using a three-way bulb with a pipette. Here at Cal Poly, students have three types of bulbs available to them. The first option is the regular bulb. This is used by siphoning air into the bulb and using your finger to cover the pipette and transfer the liquid. The second option is the CO pump. For this, you spin the wheel on the side of the pump until the liquid is at your desired volume. You then press down on the top to dispense the liquid. The third option is the three-way bulb. For accuracy and simplicity, this is the best option. Today, we will be taking a closer look at this bulb and showing you the best method for using it. Make sure that you're wearing appropriate safety goggles. Also, while working with any chemicals, it is important to wear gloves just in case anything spills on your hands. Closed-toed shoes are required while performing your laboratory techniques. Finally, the use of a lab coat or apron are optional, but always advised. This is how you properly put on a pipette bulb. You want to grab the bulb and pipette close to where you are joining them and twist. Sometimes the small plastic balls that help seal each valve come out and get lost. If your bulb is missing one or more, tell your professor and get a new one. A bulb will not keep a vacuum if a plastic ball is missing. When a pipette is pushed too far into the bulb, it blocks the eject valve, not allowing you to dispense your liquid. To fix this, pull your pipette out a little bit, removing the obstruction. You should always make sure to pull up your liquid carefully so as not to suck any into the bulb, which will contaminate it and damage it for the next person. This is what one sounds like. If you find any of these, tell your professor and get a new one. The first valve to use is the A valve on the top. The A is for air because this valve allows air to release from the bulb to begin pipetting. Next, the S valve below the bulb is for siphon, which brings liquid into the pipette. The E valve on the side is for eject, releasing the liquid into a new container. Prior to using the pipette, you need to rinse it with the liquid you will be transferring. We do this to make sure the pipette is clean and won't contaminate your solution. To do this, use the siphon valve to bring in some of the liquid and the eject valve to move in into the waste container. With the rinsed pipette, we will transfer our liquid to our desired container. As before, we use the siphon valve to bring the liquid into our pipette to our distracted level. Here, we need to make sure we read the meniscus. To do this, you read the lowest part of the dip to know your level. Currently, it's at about 9.8 milliliters. Then, we move our pipette, keeping it vertical, to our new container and use the eject valve to dispense the liquid. Now that you are done using your pipette, pipette bulb, and solutions, you should properly dispense of your waste. Because we were using blue food dye and water, we can pour these down the drain. For review, A is for air, S is for siphon, and E is for eject. 